So I'm going to mech test this compressor here. I'm going to make sure that this, the power is dead before I remove before I remove the uh, before I remove the power wires. So there's no power on this thing. It's dead. You know, sometimes these use these units as inverter boards and you know inverter boards they could hold power in the capacitor in the capacitor you know long after you power it off not that long but you know a few minutes after you power it off you know minutes after you power it off it still has still has power lingering around unbeknown to you and you open this up and then you get zapped yeah, so I'm looking at, looking at this unit right here. It has a error code 20, 26 and compressor number one. This is compressor number one right here. So I'm just going to, the error code 26 is stating that comp the compressor didn't start or something along those lines. I have a previous clip that I started recording and I uh, the camera stopped recording so I'm gonna upload that as well just look for it so here we go the wire is off I'm gonna mega test this bad boy All right because if the compressor is electrically sound the next thing I'm gonna look for is uh the amper draw when this compressor tries to start attempt to start Alright, because it could be a locker order. So if it passed the mech test, I'm going to be doing that. Okay, so I have my mech meter ready to go. I have my ground connected. And it's a good ground. I'm going to test it. Right, it's a good ground. <clears throat> Start off at 250 volts. Yeah, this is a 28 volts unit. So start off at that. My compressor wire is connected. Just want to make sure I keep the orientation the same because I don't want to switch crisscross. I could just play the video back anyways, but you know, make my life easier. So I'm hunting down this 21. I mean 26 one. Error code 26 and compressor number one. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm hunting down right now. So let's go start this test right here. So that's looking good. Okay, so I'm not getting anything here. So this is these are looking good. So I'm gonna go to a higher voltage, all the way to uh, 1,000 volts. meter battery is dying because you should show a thousand plus volts up here there it is yeah it's dying yeah I need to replace those batteries okay that's what I got yeah, that's a pass Compressor is literally sound. That is a pass. That is a pass. I'm well over 
a hundred megs. So that is a pass. Didn't pass with flying colors, but it's still a pass nonetheless. Is it flying colors? It will be infinity. So it's probably going to go up to a, a thousand and keep climbing. But once I see these numbers, I know we are good to go. Uh, the windings are electrically sound. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a do a. Do a home test, a home test across all windings. Resistant test. I'm gonna test all my my windings for continuity, and then I'm gonna power this up. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna reinstall the wires, power this system back up, and uh, and uh, look for the amperage draw for a seized compressor. And then if all that fails and everything passed, everything is good with that, I'm gonna follow the additional troubleshooting guide. Additional troubleshooting guide that comes, troubleshooting guide that came along with this error code. Uh, 26 on compressor number one, so 26 one. Now this meter here is versatile enough. It checks even voltage as well. So I'll make sure that there's no voltage left on my terminals because I was doing mega testing and this thing is like charged up right now and then there's your feedback into my meter. I don't want that. So the volume voltage is gonna drain anything. Anything that's in there. We'll drain it out. So I've checked across all three windings and I got uh, 0.2 ohms. Okay, so this compressor is electric electrically sound. Oh, my thing is dancing around here, but I did it before. It's, it's a bit difficult to use just one hand if you're seeing that. But they all read 0.2. So the compressor is uh, definitely electrically sound. I don't know if it's mechanically sound. I'm gonna find out once I try to turn it on. If I see a high amperage draw, it could be that it's it could be that it's uh, not mechanically sound. It could seize compressor, lock rotor, or uh, it could be inverter board. I don't know. We'll find out. I know this is not a the system does not have a refrigerant or a restriction issue. A restriction or a refrigerant issue because it was running earlier with the second compressor right so and the pressures looks good now if you're going to use your, uh, your impact gun your impact driver to put this thing in if this thing is impacting from the gate means you have cross threaded you gotta be careful not to cross thread it and then when you get to the end and it don't go crazy just squeeze a little bit like you see that I just I just did you know just to make sure you're snugs if you don't know what you're doing use a screwdriver and so I'm gonna go ahead and power this thing back up and uh, connect the service tool back to it and fire it up so I'm gonna look for the amperage draw next. For the amperage draw next. Where well, there's gonna be oh it's compressor. I could see it in the tool, the service tool, and the tablet, but uh, I'd like to get my meter on there somewhere. My clamp on. Um, these are the compressor wires right here. So right if I could get it in here, clamped onto one of these. Okay, well my meter is dual, so I just clamp that. I ain't gonna worry about selecting anything. Yeah, so I just decided I decided to put a little slit in the, in the uh, casing right here. It's 
so I can access the wire. Once I'm, at, once I'm done, I just put a little bit of electrical tape back over that. No big deal. Alright. So I'm going to fire this thing back up right now. Get my tools synced up. Multi V5 LG. Where's your. Uh... So this is compressor one, inverter number one, and compressor two, inverter number two, one compressor, second compressor, inverter one, inverter two. There's a full board. You can uh, pause this video and screenshot this schema if you need it, a wiring diagram if you need it. And you're welcome. There was something over, over my camera lens. Here's a better shot of it. Here's the schematics for your information. 